HMAS Melbourne's firing was the first firing by an FFG in automatic self-defence. This involves taking the human operator out of the loop in order to achieve a faster engagement. My role for this missile firing was the fire control officer. My responsibilities were to control and coordinate the weapon systems under the direction of the air warfare officer. The Navy's mission is to fight and win at sea. Conducting this firing enables us to prove that our system is capable and our people are competent to put our ships in harm's way and come back safely. System qualification trials, they basically take us out of our um, core mariner skills, which is what we do before, and then move us into just checking that our systems and our weapons and our radars are all capable of doing what they need to do in order to move into a, uh, a warlike scenario, which is our next stage of training. So we go out, we, um, we test our firings, we test our um, fire control systems, we test our radars to ensure that everything will come together and click correctly when it, when it, needs, to, when it needs to go off. Let's go! Do we have confirmation of fire? In order to fight and win at sea, uh, we need to be able to recapture compartments that are lost and get back capability. So if we get some damage, we lose the capability, we lose the ability to engage the enemy and uh, continue on with the mission that we've been given. So, in order to combat that, we need to get really good and proficient at taking back those compartments and regaining that capability in order to continue on with what we've been directed to do. We provided some really complex damage control scenarios and Ship's Company responded really well. We saw some amazing innovation from some of our junior members, which was really pleasing to see, and the, the leadership shown throughout and, and moral courage in fighting some of these fires and, and floods was, was great, it was really great to see. This week and the training that we've been doing and moving forward from now uh, is about making the, that team work together so that we can be ready to conduct missions as required by this government and carry on with the work that they, can, they detail for us to do.